Hello my fans, hope you guys have been good. Today I'm going to be doing for you guys a video that has been long, long, long waited for. It's a comparison of our three most highly selling units at Nairobi Power Bikes. Starting with number one over here is the Taken to 50. Taken to 50 Adventure, Stock Off-Road, Stock Commuter Bike, whatever you want to call it, but it's the most durable bike that we have ever sold very strong bike loved by many and it's the most highly selling followed by the taro comes number two sport bike durable high quality zero vibrations it's amazing and beautiful comes with a two-year warranty same as the taken and our new launching 200 super commuter bike most economical 200 cc in kenya i'm telling you this is the best budget bike with the most with the best build quality in, uh, I'd say uh, this bike is uh, 200 cc that's an RE 200 with a launching engine uh, the same engine manufacturers that built the engine for the Taken very durable bike just arrived yesterday I'll be talking more on it so the video today is not about the launching but rather a general perspective to talk to my clients about what sort of a rider fits perfectly on what bike now when we get customers here we usually get customers that usually ask us, uh, um, hi, uh, we usually, we, we, I want a bike that fits my daily routine life, where I work um, maybe 8 to 5, I want a bike that I'll be commuting to work to, uh, just a bike for work, that's the first category of customer. And then there's the second category of customer who's the thrill for the adventure, wants to travel, wants to go off-road, wants to do um, adventurous things, maybe across Kenya, maybe across East Africa, some even across Africa, maybe they just want to travel, they want to get a, a bike for traveling. And then there's just the commuter, the budget guy, the guy who's been using a matatu and wants to save on money for the cost, maybe he lives all the way in Thika and works in town, maybe spends maybe 300, 400 bob a day just on, 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 on matatu and they just want a bike to reduce the cost and also save them time uh, to, to, to get to work. Um, let's talk about the Taken. Now the Taken, this bike appeals to the off-roader. Are you an adventure person? Are you a person who likes to travel? You can't buy a Taken and tell me that you'll just be commuting to work with it and back because you'd be, do, <laughs> you'd be undermining its capability. This is a bike that maybe you want to travel, even though it's not once, even though it's not twice, even though it's at least even once a month. You have to travel with this bike and experience its capabilities. I'm telling you, this bike can do anything from climbing the, the, the toughest hills to going through the toughest terrain. It's, it's smooth, it's perfect, and you'd get the thrill of it if you are to adventure with it. So if you're a guy who wants to adventure, a guy or a lady who wants to adventure, and you want to explore Kenya, this is the bike for you. Now the Taro, I'd say appeals to clients who are below the age of 40. Remember, it's riding posture unainama kidogo. You bend a bit, eh? So you, would, you wouldn't maybe ride for that long. Uh, maybe four hours, five hours max in Naungichoka, you'd have to take breaks. Huh? Still, you can travel with it, but it's more of a day-to-day -day person who maybe likes uh, maybe um, the weekend rides, unataka kuonyeshana, you know, you want to show off a bit, you know. Because um, this bike is a looker, I'm telling you. Every client of mine who purchases this bike, unasema mama hali, I'm telling you the amount of pictures and guys asking for selfies or they want to ride the bike or they want to feel it what it appeals mostly to you if you're looking for a bike for the weekend if you're a person for fun you just want a bike for the weekend this is the bike for you it's limited to tarmac roads but also can do off-road but it depends on the intensity of the off-road that you're doing but remember this is a sport bike and its plastic is uh, quite low but not that low it can still do off-road but not that much Still, it's a bike that can travel. I have clients who have traveled to Kisumu, Mombasa, everywhere with it. It depends on what sort of rider you are. There are some people who like small Mercedes CL, uh, CLS uh, sport cars, and there are people who like V8s. So it depends on you. Are you a V8 person or are you a small Mercedes person? It depends on you. Now, when you come to the launching, it's different. This is the type of uh, customer who comes and maybe you're, you're a type of client maybe who wants a day-to-day -day bike. A bike that gets you from point A to point B. It's quality, it's assuring, and it's super economical. I mean, it's the only bike that we've ever brought with a tank of 17 liter tank. 
and it barely drinks any fuel i'm telling you there's a guy who fueled it with 100 bob yesterday got to kahawasukari and came back to langata with it with that 100 bob Ilishia tu hapa inje. I'm telling you this bike is so economical, it's not even funny. We're talking about 40 to 42 kilometers per liter on a 17 liter tank. You work a full tank, you can go to Mombasa non-stop without fueling and still back to Voi without fueling. So that even join Akunya. So it'll save you money. So let's say for example, um, maybe you want to live further from CBD. Maybe you work in CBD. Maybe you want to live further to say maybe thicker road or uko sides uh, even Limuru, even if you want to live maybe in Naivasha, because you know housing is cheaper there. Maybe you'd get housing that's maybe 40% or maybe 50% cheaper if you lived further. But the problem is, commuting with Matatus all the way to town every day, you'd never get to work on time. But with a bike, it's different. E-bike, I do traffic. It doesn't know traffic. It doesn't know uh, anything. It means you don't have to wake up super early to go to work. You can even wake up at 7.30 because you're not limited to traffic. This thing maneuvers through traffic like like, like the normal border borders you see on the road. And it's it's agility, it's beautiful, and it doesn't look like the normal border border. I mean, you wouldn't be confused with a border border even by the cops or, or anyone because it looks, it screams that it's private. So anyone who looks at it would scream that it's private. On top of that, this is also a commercial uh, motorcycle. So are you looking to start a company? Maybe you want to start a delivery courier service company, or you want to start maybe something like a Glovo, or you want to give a rider to do for you some Glovo, some Bolt. This is a bike for you. It's unique. Spare parts are all available for this bike, and it has a Lonsin engine. Lonsin engine, 80% of its parts are found locally in Kenya. So I mean, we're talking about a bike that its quality is so reassuring. I mean, look at this peg, eh? Just compare this peg to the peg of the sport bike, look. Angalia, look at this peg, how it looks. I love to look at this. Look at how strong this is. This looks like the boxer, I'm telling you. This is the bike for the, for the budget person. You just want a bike to go take you from one point A to B, but you don't want a boda boda. You don't want to be seen like a boda boda on the road. This is the bike for you. So what type of a rider are you? Nairobi Power Bikes provides for every type of rider that is out there. Of course, there's, there's a bike we haven't yet introduced, maybe in the future we'll introduce, which is the Cafe Racer and the Cruiser. The people who like cruisers and Cafe Racers, we'll introduce them later in the year. But these are the, sort, these are the three category of individuals that, uh, that have come and asked us for, for bikes. So we have bikes for every individual are you an adventure rider do you want to explore maybe be going to work but also have the opportunity to explore go to Oshago and never be limited by roads that's the bike for you are you a showcasing person maybe a guy who likes you know attention on the road you know likes the onlookers and wants an aggressive bike wants a fast bike this is the bike for you it's way faster than the taken this is a long this is the long thing if you are you a budget person just want something point a to b or uh, maybe you just want a bike to, to do commercial services with, maybe Boda Boda or anything like that. This is the bike for you. So the, the taken retails right now, 300,000, that's without the boxes. If you want it with the boxes, it's 315,000, that's inclusive of VAT. We have the Taro GP250, this now retails at 200, sorry, 355,000, or 375,000 if you want the TFT screen version. Yeah, this is the TFT screen version. This is 375,000. So that's plus VAT. And then the Lonsin 200, which just arrived. This is a budget friendly bike. Are you a wholesaler? We'll give you 219,000 or 227,000. And the price is negotiable. This is the bike for the, for, for, for the budget person. Still looks good, still looks amazing, but is pocket friendly. Can take you from point A to B. So what bike appeals to you? Let me know in the comments. So like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for the guys who have already subscribed to my YouTube channel. I'm sorry I've, I've uh, stayed a while without uh, doing YouTube videos, but I have, it has been with reason. I have been stalking for you guys like crazy. So welcome, come one, come all to Nairobi Power Bikes. Uh, if you have any questions to do to 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 ask uh, to do with uh, what sort of a rider you are, if you want any advice on what bike is perfect for you, please let me know. Thank you so much. Have a good day.